All right, the starting lineup will be Jeremy Root and A.J. Godsey on the front row. D.J. Kenner and Scott Snodgrass on the second row. Eric Stoy, Harley Barlett on the third row. Brandon Springer, Jeff Hinkle on the fourth row. Jason Rome and Kevin Reed rounding out the top ten. Then Greg McDaniel, David Garman, 11th and 12th. 13th is Nicole Creasel. 14th is Vernon Spring. Then Matt Bear, Mark Dantuma, Jody Ogden, Gerald Poole, Larry Ashby, Topher Baltimore did not qualify. Topher has not taken to the track. It looks like he might actually be race control tonight. Richie West just missing the race. He is cheering them on, though. This promises to be a, a lot of excitement based on what we saw last night. I know I have not had a chance because I went straight from the truck race to the GTE race. I crashed out of that, took Topher out accidentally. And uh, yeah, but uh, I am sure Richie West is probably still catching his breath from last night's broadcast. Take a minute while they're lined up on pit road. Hit the share button, like, follow, subscribe. We're live on Facebook and Twitch. We have a YouTube. You can find all of those great links at htsai.net. And you can find our Twitter and our Discord and Instagram. All that fun stuff, including some special upcoming charity events, uh, including one that starts tomorrow night and culminates in a broadcast here Tuesday night with XCAL. Bill Percy just changed who he's cheering for because he misspelled Topher. Sorry, Bill, I had to point it out, buddy. All right, everybody rolling off for two pace laps. Expect to see a few guys working the car back and forth. Probably a few guys riding the brakes, trying to get these tires up to temperature. more time around 140 laps remember after about lap somewhere between lap 30 and lap 40 everybody will be good to go on fuel which could make pit strategy a huge huge deal here tonight if this becomes a long green flag run race however if this becomes uh if there's a lot of cautions this could come down to attrition Worth noting, second place in points, Scott Snodgrass currently in fourth, Harley Barletta a little bit further back. Pace car is in. Green flag is in the air. They're all down and away. Harley right be behind Scott, so there are your top two in points. Scott second in points, Harley first, and oh, DJ Kenner and, and Scott almost get together. Everybody makes it out of turn two in one piece. Looks like Nicole might have caught the apron there. Jeremy Root checking out from the field a little bit already. Oh, we've got a little chaos behind the 87. Jason Rowe manages to save it. I don't know how Jason did that. Looking to see if he got some damage as that car got a little bit loose. Caution is out. And it looks like Kevin Reed crashed on the front straightaway. Oh, loose off of four. There he collects. Uh, Garmy. Let's see if we can see. What happened to Jason Rome? Back it up just a little bit because Jason was in the middle of one and two and it looked like the car just went loose on him. 
Yeah, he went up to the high side. Greg tried to drop the low side. Fortunately, he manages to save it. Not seeing anybody come to pit road. See how Kevin Reed's car looks. Not too terribly bad. Excuse me. Uh, Garmin's car's got a little bit of damage on the left front, but not too terribly bad. We'll try not to look at the front of Garmin's car too much tonight. As they bring them around again, we should get the one to green here. Yes, indeed. No, we did not. It looks like the green flag got delayed. At the last minute, it looked like everybody was lined up. Jeremy Root still in the lead. Biggest mover so far has actually been Vernon Spring in the 113. Uh, he is up to 10th after starting 14th. Actually, Mark Van Tuma is up five spots in 11th after starting in 16th. Uh, I'll also of note, Gerald Thanos Poole, he is in 14th after starting in 18th. He was one of the drivers that did not qualify. Looks like there is some delay. Very peculiar. Nobody's come to pit road. And Richie West dropping in saying, Nicole, for the win, have to agree. I think everybody would be extraordinarily happy to see Nicole get the win here tonight. All right, lights are out on the pace car finally. Jeremy Root choosing to restart on the bottom, AJ to the top. These two have had an on-again, off-again battle all season. They're currently tied in the points. They have been racing each other for every position all season long. Pretty evenly matched, and it could make for some great racing here tonight on this bumpy, bumpy short track. Pace car is in. They're in the restart zone. Green flag in the air. They're down and away. Jeremy Root gets a good jump on the field, and now DJ Kenner looking to the inside for second. Can't get there yet. Worth noting, DJ Kenner and Jeremy Root are often teammates. They take turns spotting for each other when the other one's racing in certain series. Harley Barletta now up to fourth, trying to make his way past DJ. back further in the pack so far so good once these tires start to heat up a little bit a little wobble out of AJ Gotzi coming off turn four once these tires heat up and start to provide a little bit of grip granted this track is so bumpy there's not a ton of grip to be had unless you're Brandon Springer who no matter what has he apparently there is a GIF logo on the car somewhere Oh, it gets a little sketchy down the front straightaway. Looking for the GIF logo, did not see it. But apparently he has a GIF logo on the paint scheme, so he does have the extra peanut butter grip. And while we're watching Peanut Butter Grip, let's hop in the car with him as he goes through one and two. He's got Mark Dantuma directly in front of him. You see how close it is. But listen closely to the engine note. Very easy back on the throttle and you can hear the car hitting the bumps and affecting the throttle. have to be very hesitant have to make sure the car is almost completely straight and even then you still have to ease into the gas here you 
Jeremy Root actually, oh, he gets a little bit of the wall on the back straightaway, but he's actually starting to pull away from A.J. Godsey just a little bit. About three quarters of a second. Harley Barletta has made his way up to third now. D.J. Kenner in fourth. Jeff Hinkle up to fifth now after starting in eighth. Expect Hinkle to continue that march toward the front. This, uh, while this isn't really a huge tire-saving kind of race, it is still one that uh, these kind of tracks he really excels at. Scott in sixth, Eric seventh, Garmy in eighth, Mark Nantuma still continuing his march forward in the 57 car. Started in 16th, now up to 9th place. Brandon Springer in 10th. Matt Bear also making his way forward. He started in 15th and is up to 11th. Twenty laps in, only one caution so far, so they're doing a little bit better than we did in the trucks last night. We did expect a lot of chaos with the low downforce package on these cup cars tonight, but uh, it is not coming to fruition at the moment. And, but you can see 20 laps in, a lot of guys really starting to change those lines up. And Matt Bear all over the back bumper of Brandon Springer. Now Matt down to the bottom for 10. Having to be careful up off turn two. He clears him. He is going to take 10th place. Stoy lost several positions suddenly. Let's see what happened. Oh, it looks like Eric might have gotten... Let's try and back that up. I think he got loose off of turn four. Managed to save the car. But talk about a close call. He was trying to get to the inside of Scott Snodgrass. Manages to hold it. Loses several positions in the process, though. And Jeremy Root, the leader, already starting to come into lap traffic. Nicole, that's what she said. Creasel just ahead. AJ in second, Harley Barletta quite a ways back in third, DJ Kenner all over the back bumper, Hinkle in fifth, Garmin who started in 12th is now up to sixth, Mark Dantuma is now up to seventh, and Matt Bear has made his way to eighth, as a few cars are actually starting to fade a little bit, Scott Snodgrass, oh! Brandon Springer loses it off of turn four, manages to save it, only loses a couple of positions. Great save by Brandon Springer, but uh, losing a couple of positions in the moment. Gerald Poole now up to 13th. Jody Ogden up to 14th. Jason Rome in 15th. And Jeremy Root continuing to run drivers down. Vernon Spring, not sure what has happened. He was up in the top 10 just uh, about 10 laps or so ago, he is now going a lap down in 18. And Jeremy Root really starting to run some folks down. Kevin Reed and Larry Ashby now battling side by side.
definitely have to agree with you, Richie. There have been some epic saves here tonight. Now, Jeremy Root has not had to save that car at all and continuing to march his way forward and continuing to look for more cars to lap as this field starts to spread out just a little bit. Jeremy Root now picking off Kevin Reed, looking for Larry Ashby. AJ Godsey, 1.6 seconds back. Harley Barletta, even further back in third place, six seconds behind the leader. And DJ is starting to look to take third place back here. They're side by side with the lap car in front of them. Oh my goodness, it's a close call. Harley had to get out of the gas. DJ managing to sneak by there. Now Harley's going to come under the lap car and continue his march forward, but losing third place to DJ Kenner. Jeff Hinkle in fifth now has Matt Bear closing up on his back bumper. And Matt Bear is there, Garmin is there, Mark Dantuma is there. We're about to have one heck of a fight. This is for about fifth place back to eighth. Jeff Hinkle currently running in fifth, but Matt Bear all over the back bumper. Matt Bear sends it in on the bottom, has to really check up, almost gets into Hinkle, almost opened the door for Garmin on the high side. Garmin to the high side. Matt Bear trying to claw his way back. Oh my goodness. Burn Spring gets loose off turn four right above him. And is Garmin thinking about, no, he backs out. Looked like he was thinking about making it three wide there. Back up front, Jeremy Root continuing to lap cars. The 15th place car of Jason Rome is actually next, and Jason was having a great run last night. But struggling here in the cup cars, the difference being less downforce. Guys are having to be a lot more careful. Uh, no big spoiler on the back of these cars. So everybody having to be substantially more careful here tonight. AJ Godsey currently in second. DJ Kenner way back in third. Harley Barletta in fourth. Jeff Hinkle is giving up fifth as Matt Bear comes under. Now Matt Bear, who started in 15th, is now up to fifth and is so far the biggest mover of the night. Garmin now looking to the bottom on Hinkle for sixth. Garmin's got the nose in, and Mark Dantuma not far behind. Can he capitalize here? Looks like he is not close enough. Hinkle will be at caution. What? Oh, Jason Rome gets together with Vernon Springs, spins down, collects Nicole Creasel. Minimal damage, but a heartbreak for everybody cheering for Nicole tonight. Expect to see everybody on pit road. This time they can go the distance on fuel from here. Jeremy Root, AJ Godsey on pit road. Here comes DJ Kenner to pit road. Matt Bear is staying out. Matt Bear is the only lead lap car staying out right now.
and it looks like several drivers staying out to get waved or possibly be waved around here. Nicole Creasel's uh, car took a heavy hit on the back end. Jason Rome probably getting some repairs as well. Now Matt Bear is coming to pit road this time. So Jeremy Root will reassume the lead. AJ in second. Harley Barletta in third. DJ Kenner is fourth. Garmy now up to fifth. Hinkle up to sixth. Mark Dantuma seventh. Greg McDaniel eighth. Matt Bear on his way off of pit road. It looks like he's going to cycle in about ninth or 10th place. Not sure what the strategy was there, stopping a lap later than everybody else. Looks like he will cycle out in ninth. Some of the lap cars coming off of pit road now. Kevin Reed still on pit road. He had had some damage earlier in the race. We'll see if he is able to get back out. Lights are out on the pace car. They'll stack back up and get ready to go racing. A couple of cars getting waved around. It looks like the 61 of Brandon Springer will go back to the lead lap. It's going to be Jeremy Root, AJ Godsey on the front row, Harley Barletta, DJ Kenner on the second row, then Garmin Hinkle, Greg McDaniel, Mark Dantuma, Eric Stoy, and Matt Bear round out your top ten. Pace car is in. Down and away, green flag in the air. And Jeremy gets another great restart here. And it looks like Harley Barletta rolled the dice, took right sides only on his stop. Greg McDaniel now up to seventh. He had been lingering just outside the top 10 the first part of this race. Mark Dantuma in eighth, Matt Bear in ninth, Eric Stoy in tenth. And Jeremy Root already starting to put a gap on AJ Godsey, half a second. DJ Kenner looking to the bottom. He is looking for a way around Harley Barletta here. Not enough momentum yet. Looks like Harley Barletta is the only driver to try right side tires only this that stop. Jeremy Root and AJ Godsey have been battling all season, currently tied in the points. Tied for sixth place right now. Harley Barletta is the points leader, currently running third. Scott Snodgrass, second in points, has struggling here tonight. He is back in 15th. Jason Rome, who is third in points, is actually in 16th place. So some of the top points guys really struggling here tonight. This, uh, this track can take a toll. It is bumpy and slick. 
and can be problematic to get around. Although, a shout out to all the drivers so far, for the most part, this has been a very clean race. Jody Ogden, one of the drivers that did not qualify, started in 17th. He is now up to 11th, and he's got a mess in front of him. He goes to the high side looking for a move on Eric Stoy. Has the run off of turn four into turn number one. And now Jody Ogden cracks the top ten for the first time tonight. Mark Dantuma continuing to march his way forward as well. Greg McDaniel has not been, it was noticed by a couple of drivers in practice. He's just not as fast as he has been recently. Here tonight, we'll see if he can overcome that with strategy and a little bit of luck. Currently running in eighth, but used to seeing Greg running up in the top five. And Hinkle really seems to be struggling on this set of tires as well. He is back in seventh now. Matt Bear in sixth. Nicole Creasel going up to the high side to let the lead lap cars by. And Harley Barletta might be in a little bit of trouble as here comes David Garman and Matt Bear. Garman, last week's winner at Nashville Super Speedway after being gone for a couple of weeks. Comes back, hadn't been in his rig. First half of the race, he struggled, went a lap down, made a comeback, and got the win. He's obviously got the feel for the car again and is making his way forward. But Matt Bear is really the man on the move. Some interesting pit strategy. Uh, when all the other leaders came to, oh, Harley Barletta a wiggle off of turn four. Harley managing to hold on to it. Matt Bear, as we mentioned, all the drivers came to pit road. He came one lap after all the other lead lap cars under caution. He stayed out, led one lap. Came out of pit road in ninth and now has already made his way up to fourth and he's trying to run down DJ Kenner here. And the last couple of laps, Matt Barrett has been faster than DJ. Now Garmin and Barletta battling for fifth place. Oh, Garmin is around. Caution is out. See if we can get a better angle on what happened to Garmin here. Comes off a of turn four just too hard on the throttle, gets to the inside, loses the front clip on that car, but manages to keep it going. He'll go to pit road and get some repairs. Don't expect anybody else on the lead lap to hit pit road. They had a total of four tire sets for tonight. So the original one plus three additional, every driver has taken one set of tires already. Let's see if we can talk to AJ. Hey, AJ, this is Doug. You got me? I got you, Doug. Hey, uh, your car looks fast, but do you have anything for Jeremy tonight? I I don't know. I don't. It's not seeming like it. I'm not trying to drive too hard yet, but um, I don't know that I got anything for him, though. 
Well, you've definitely been running fairly equal lap times. It just seems like he's beating you on the restarts. Uh, are you going to change up your strategy at all? Yeah, I'll definitely get more aggressive on these restarts once the laps close down here a little bit. Right now, I'm just trying to keep it in one piece till the end. <laughs> well, I know you were one of the guys that did not survive last night, so hopefully you do survive tonight. Yeah, I hope so, too. <laughs> all right, good luck, man. Thanks. Looking to see, did see Scott Snodgrass on pit road, Larry Ashby went to pit road, Jason Rome, Kevin Reed on pit road, Vernon Spring also on pit road. Everybody else staying out. Garmin, it looks like he might still be on pit road. Trying to get that car fixed with Nicole Creasel out on pit road as well. Meanwhile, Jeremy Root just continues to dominate here tonight. But now that Matt Bear has an opportunity, as he has come through this field, starting in 15th, he is up to 4th. He has come flying through this field more than once. Now that he has an opportunity to start up here at the front this time, will he be able to do anything with AJ and Jeremy? lot of cars with a very interesting theme painted on them somewhere. I'm sure you've caught it. I'm not going to say it, but there you have it. Green flag is in the air. They are down and away. And Jeremy Root gets another great restart. AJ Gotzi and now DJ Kenner battling side by side for second place. Here comes Harley Barletta. Matt Bear now looking to the bottom on Barletta. Jeremy Root is loving seeing this in his mirror as these guys battle. He is just pulling away. AJ finally clears DJ. He moves to second, DJ to third. Now it's a battle for fourth between Matt Bear and Harley Barletta. Harley gets a little more of a run in the middle of the corner. Harley gets a little loose off the corner. Manages to hang on to it though. Mark Dantuma is trying to get around Greg McDaniel for seventh place. Eric Stoy looking to the high side. He has run the bottom most of the night, but now he is looking to the high side on Mark. Caution is out. It's Mark Dantuma. Off of turn two, just snaps loose on it. Let's take a different angle at that to make sure he didn't. Oh, it looks like he just got loose. And a lot of lead lap drivers now hitting pit road. This could be the final stop for most of these drivers. And while they're on pit road, let's see if we can talk to the driver of the 61, Brandon Springer. Hey, Brandon, this is Doug. You got me? Hey, Doug, what's up? Hey, I have to ask, without the peanut butter on the car, is the uh, handling going away? Uh, yes. I need some right now. It's slippery. <laughs> it definitely is. You've managed to hold on to a top 10 run so far tonight, though. Do you think you can uh, move up at all? Uh, I'm going to try, but these guys in front of me are really good, so I'm just trying to survive and hold on my, uh, so I don't spin out. It's, uh, it's, oh, it's a rush. 
It definitely is. Well, good luck, man. And I did notice a GIF sticker on there, but it's on your right rear. Maybe it'll help. <laughs> Maybe it'll help keep that uh, keep that right rear on track. Yeah, yeah. Eric said he'll put a little secret sauce on there for me. It's not all well all off. Well, oh, every little bit helps, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, man. Good luck, buddy. Good dog. Brandon obviously not having all the uh, peanut butter on the tires and due to pit strategy here. Jody Ogden, Larry Ashby, Scott Snodgrass did not pit. Matt Bear is the first off pit road. So Jody Ogden now assuming the lead. I am guessing based on what he saw, restarts were a big issue here. That first five laps after the restart last night. Expect to see that come into play again here tonight. Uh, the, the first, if they make it about five laps after the restart without a caution, then generally speaking, it's going to go for a long run. However, if they have a caution early, it could be one after another. Jody, Larry, looking like they are playing a little strategy to have the track position advantage here their tires were not that old so they have a bit of an advantage looks like jody choosing to restart on the high side pace car is in Green flag is in the air and Jody is away. Scott Snodgrass has an issue. He spun the tires on the restart. And he is losing a ton of positions before he can get that car back up to speed. He finally does, slides up in front of DJ. Matt Bear clears everybody else. He is now up to second. Larry Ashby in there. Oh, Larry drifts it through one and two, but manages to hold on. AJ Godsey in the wall. Larry's around. Caution is out. Chaos out of one and two. Oh, David Garman hit. A lot of cars involved. There you see the 34 just gets loose down into the corner. AJ trying to avoid it. Snaps to the high side. And Nicole just barely gets him. Let's take a look at Larry. Because this continued after Larry gets off turn two. He goes around. A lot of cars managing to clear him, but David Garman did not. Jason Rome looks like he got caught in this mess as well. Just clipping him though. No. He gets quite a bit into the side of Larry Ashby. Let's take another look at Larry's incident as he comes off of turn two. I think there might have been a little bit of net code into AJ there. Larry has significant damage to that car. Larry is on pit road. Jason Rome is on pit road. Nicole Creasel. Looks like AJ went to pit road and Mark Dantuma. Jody's pit strategy might have paid off here. At least for him, it's put him up front and now they all have to fight him. Can Matt Bear get around him though? Hey Matt, this is Doug, you got me? Yeah, I got you man. Hey, uh, so I'm guessing you could probably make it on fuel from here, especially with these cautions. Are you going to be able to get around Jody, though? 
Uh, we'll see, man. Uh, I'm gonna try to get him on this restart right here. I'm definitely gonna give it a go. Uh, I've got a little bit fresher tires than him. I think I'm just a little bit quicker than him, not by much. But uh, I think I've got something for him. Well, I have to say, uh, you and Jody have both uh, been big gainers. Jody got a lot on pit strategy, but you have just driven through the field uh, uh, more than once. You definitely have one of the fastest cars out there. Yeah, man. Actually, we got really lucky on that last pit stop. I went in there and threw two side, two tires on and beat everybody else out. And I, I guess, I don't know what happened behind us, but luckily I was able to avoid that by beating everybody else out on pit road last time. <laughs> it definitely paid off. Well, good luck and uh, good luck on this restart. Thank you, brother. All right, lights are out on the pace car. You might be right, Richie. It's awfully, awfully close. Pace car is in. Green flag is in the air. Just over 50 laps to go. Matt Jody Ogden gets a good jump on Matt Bear. Here comes Jeremy Root and Harley Barletta, though. And now Matt Bear dropping to the bottom in three and four. He is going for the lead. Jeremy Root on his back bumper. Matt really sends it into turn one. It looks like he was struggling a little bit mid-turn. Now it's a drag race down the back straightaway. Into turn three. Caution is out. Now who's it going to score in the lead? It scores Jody in the lead. It looks like Garmin and AJ involved. That was 100% net code. There was several feet between them. another angle you see they did not even get close and David Garvin definitely coming out on the short end of the net code stick tonight I don't actually see Garmy in the uh, Discord, but uh, if you're listening, buddy, that was a lot of netcode. Uh, kind of hurts. After winning the Nashville Super Speedway last week, after being gone for several weeks, that definitely has to hurt as he was moving his way up through the field despite being caught in incidents earlier in the race. Yeah, there is definitely some bad net code at this track. And it looks like A.J. Godsey's been on the receiving end of it a couple of times here tonight. Matt Bear has another shot at Jody Ogden here on this restart. It'll be Jody Ogden, Matt Bear in the front row, Jeremy Root, Harley Barlett on the second row, Scott Snodgrass and Jeff Hinkle on the third row. DJ Kenner, Eric Stoy on the fourth row, Greg McDaniel and Brandon Springer rounding out the top 10. Gerald Poole has made his way up. He is now lurking in 11th. Mark Dantuma is now up there back to 13th. He was up in the top 10 earlier until he got caught in an incident. Jason Rome been in a couple of different incidents, but starting to work his way back now up to 12th. Lights go out on the pace car.
And a whole lot of pink in the field as this is the final race of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Huge shout out to everybody out there that has all these awesome custom paints. Pace car is in. Green flag is in. Oh, they're beating them. They're door banging at the restart. Matt Bear was trying to stay up by him through three and four. I'm guessing Jody not real happy right now. Matt Bear sends it into one and two. Now they're side by side through three and four. Oh, Jody bounces off the wall, collects Jeremy Root. Caution is out. And it looks like more than one car caught in that incident. We'll have to get back here, but uh, Matt Barrett gets really, really lucky on that one. And they started spinning. Jeff Hinkle checked up. Scott gets into him. You can see some net code at play in that mess as well. And let's take a look. At Jeremy Root as Jody just bounces off the wall. They both get collected. But then chaos erupts as everybody starts to check up. Larry Ashby gets caught. Looks like Scott gets caught. Oh, Jody gets hit a second time in that mess. Scott and Hinkle get together, and then they go their separate ways. DJ catches a bump off of Scott. Several cars managing to sneak through here. I do believe Greg McDaniel might have gotten caught in that as well. Yeah, he caught a piece of, I believe, Jeremy Root and Jody Ogden. And Jeff Hinkle obviously taking a hard hit as well. A lot of cars on pit road. Right at 40 laps to go. And Matt Bear has assumed the lead points leader, Harley Barletta, now in second, Brandon in third. Jason Rome has made his way up to fourth. Mark Dantuma is fifth. AJ Godsey snuck through that incident to get sixth. Kevin Reed, minimal damage, now up to seventh. Greg McDaniel, eighth. Eric Stoy, ninth. And DJ Kenner up to tenth. Jeremy Root and Jody Ogden now 11th and 12th. Let's try and take a look at their cars. Looks like both have gone to pit road for repairs. Scott Snodgrass, as well, has been to pit road for repairs. You saw Larry Ashby back there heavily damaged. But for the first time tonight, Matt Bear has taken the lead. Thirteen cars on the lead lap as they stack up for the restart. It's going to be Matt Bear and Harley Barletta up front. Jason Rome, Brandon Springer on the second row. AJ and Mark Dantuma on the third row. Kevin Reed, Greg McDaniel, Eric Stoy, and DJ Kenner rounding out the top ten. Matt Bear trying to hold uh, Harley up high on the track. Pace car is in and Matt is down and away. Jason Rome, if he can keep that car clean, could have a very good points night here tonight. Brandon Springer also on the march. Guys that survived with minimal to no damage are definitely, and did not have to go to pit road, starting to make their way forward. 
A.J. Godsey had been battling for the lead the first part of this race. He is now back in fifth. Can he get by everybody to get back up there? Brandon Springer to the bottom for third. He's going to lose it off of turn four. He spins. Everybody manages to avoid him. Apparently not enough GIF on the right rear. He'll probably be having words with Eric Stoy about making sure going forward there is more peanut butter on the car. And Matt Bear's coming to pit road. That is a surprise. Harley's staying out. Jason stays out. Everybody else is staying out. Matt Bear is falling back quickly. He'll come out about 12th or 13th. He'll be on the lead lap, but he could have just cost himself the win here. All right, let's see if we can get a word with Jason. Hey, Jason, this is Doug. You got me? How you doing, Mr. Burns? Hey, buddy. Uh, you're having a heck of a run here. A little bit of luck and a whole lot of speed has got you up to second. Well, I don't know about the speed. Luck, yes, I would agree with that. <laughs> you definitely... Uh, now, the question did come up, that previous caution when Larry wrecked in front of you, did you get stopped before you hit him, or did you actually touch him? I'm not, is that the one that it looked like I blew right through him? Well, out of turn two, you had to come to a complete stop, and from our angle, it looked like you might have got him just barely. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, that one there. Yeah, the other one. Yeah, I did. I tried to stop, but I've got so much rear brake in it that if I slam the brakes on I'm just going to go around so um, he kind of flew down and I just tagged him a bit I think it was like 27 seconds of optional repairs but as an idiot that I am I didn't uncheck my fast repair on the first pit stop so I'm on borrowed time right now <laughs> well you're definitely you're going to be restarting at the front so you definitely have a great advantage out there uh, good luck and hopefully you get to victory lane for the first time this season well, that ain't going to happen here, but I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Good luck, buddy. Thanks, Doug. Jason Rome managed to drive through all of that chaos to come to second. Matt Bear with that very odd pit strategy now back in 13th. Jeff Hinkle got the wave around. He is now on the lead lap in 14th. Harley Barlett is going to choose to restart up top. Jason Rome on the bottom. Mark Dantuma, AJ Godsey, and DJ Kenner round out the top five. Then Kevin Reed, Greg McDaniel, Jeremy Root now back up to eighth. Eric Stoy, Scott Snodgrass, and Jody Ogden rounding out your top ten. So I think Jody's actually now being scored in 12th as they get squared away. Pace car is in. Harley Barletta controls the restart. Green flag in the air. He is down and away. Jason's got AJ Godsey looking to the high side now. Mark Dantuma right behind him. AJ to the bottom. It's a drag race down the back straightaway. Into turn three, AJ is going for second. Oh, I think Jason just got turned. They just gets together. Caution out again. We did mention earlier, once uh, one caution starts, they all kind of, if they make it five laps, usually in good shape, but... Wrong...
It looks like Mark Dantuma just clips Jason at just the right spot. You heard Jason say he is out of fast repairs, and that car took a heavy, heavy hit. Mark Dantuma takes a heavy hit as well. Looks like Kevin Reed involved. Larry Ashby caught again. You'd think that 64 being in safety pink would have a little bit more uh, caution, but no. And they all just stack back up. Harley Barletta and AJ Godsey managed to stay out of it. Matt Bear, I do believe, was caught in that as well. A lot of cars on pit road with significant damage. Mark Dantuma coming down. Gerald Poole on pit road. He's getting tires on. Jason Rome, heavy front damage. Gerald Poole getting his. Larry Ashby's got heavy damage. It looked like Nicole Creasel might have got a little bit of it, but not terribly bad. I think at some point in this race, everybody has been caught up now. Right at 25 laps to go. And chaos has been the word since about lap 90. Jody Ogden has managed to work his way back up into the top 10. He is up to seventh now. He is one of the drivers that did not qualify, has made his way through the field, actually led for a little bit. Lights are out on the pace car. Harley choosing the outside for the restart. He'll have AJ Godsey to the inside. Greg McDaniel now up in the top four with Jeremy Root right there. And this Harley, AJ, and Jeremy Root battle could get very interesting very quickly as the pace car drops in. And Harley's away. Green flag in the air. AJ managing to move up and hold on to second. Jeremy Root now underneath Greg McDaniel for third. Missing his front clip at that. Short track racing proving, oh, we've got a car around in the turn. I believe it was Eric Stoy. Let's see what happened. Looks like coming into turn three. Oh, Eric just didn't know Scott was there. Turned down, collects Hinkle. Kevin Reed narrowly avoids more damage. Fortunately, fortunately Eric Stoy got turned back around, so he manages to maintain sixth. Hinkle in seventh with a lot of front clip damage. But as we've seen from Jeremy Root, missing the front clip really doesn't matter. Root has no front clip. Uh, Eric no longer has a, no, not Eric. Jeff Hinkle no longer has a front clip. I think DJ Kenner, I know he's missing the whole back end of his car. No, he's still got his front clip looking to see so we've got two drivers out there at least that have no front clip. Brandon Springer now back on pit road.
probably needs more peanut butter. Greg McDaniel's got heavy damage to the rear of that car. And to the front of that car. Scott had minimal right front damage on that one. Eric Stoy has pretty decent damage on the back. And based on what we have seen so far, this top three, top four battle could get very interesting very quickly. Harley Barletta, AJ Gotzi, Jeremy Root have definitely been the three fastest, uh, three of the four fastest cars. Matt Bear, I would say, would be the other one, but he is currently in 14th, coming up off of pit road also without a front clip. I do think Matt will be able to maintain the lead lap just barely. As they stack back up for the restart, Harley goes to the high side. Alright, pace car is in. Harley is gone. Harley checks out as soon as he hits the restart zone, but AJ was anticipating it. He stays with him. Jeremy Root right there in third, trying to force his way up in front of Greg. He makes it. Now Scott back in fifth. Scott jumping to the high side, trying to get fourth. Harley out front. And oh, AJ gets loose off of four right above Jeremy Root. 16 laps to go. This battle for the lead is about to really get busy. Harley Barletta running a little bit higher. He did, Jeremy Root drops all the way to the bottom. Out of turn four, he's got the run on AJ into turn one. This is the battle for second place. And they are neck and neck. Caution is out. And it looks like Scott Snodgrass involved. Oh, just gets together with Greg McDaniel off of turn two. Jody Ogden goes around as well. Uh, it looks like Jody went to check up and the 61 wasn't aware. They get together. So this will come down to about a 10 lap shootout. Matt Bear's actually up to 10th, but going back to pit road. Harley Barletta still in the lead. AJ in second, Greg in, or Jeremy in third, Greg in fourth. And Greg has done a great job of just surviving tonight. Looks like he might go to pit road. Wait a minute, and then we'll try and get a word with him. No, nope. all right. Hey, Greg, it's Doug. You got me? Yeah, go ahead, Doug. Hey, man, you've got a top five run, and somehow, despite a whole lot of chaos around you, you've got through most of it fairly uh, unscathed. Well, my... My car still works. It doesn't look very good, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. These last 10 laps are going to be exciting. I uh, I'll, The over-under is going to be two. I bet there's at least two more cautions in these last 10 laps. <laughs> so you guys are already talking about that. Uh, I got to say, the battle up there, it looked like the first half of the race you were struggling, but the second half of the race you really came alive. <laughs> it's just really hard to pass here, and... Uh, I've just worked my way up here through attrition, saving my stuff, and uh, 
staying out of trouble. So these three guys ahead of me are a lot better than me. So if I wind up fourth, I'm going to be pretty happy, I think. But maybe they'll uh, maybe they'll crash and I'll pick up a few spots. <laughs> well, if they do, hopefully all three of them and you get to victory lane, man. Good luck, buddy. Thank you, Doug. We'll talk to you later. All right, Greg McDaniel in fourth place. Uh, he does have to get around Jeremy Root, who passed him down on the inside, coming on that uh, last run. We'll see if he can get something going from the high side this time. Expect Harley Barletta to get another great restart, although Harley is known to be a little bit unpredictable, so he might... Uh, might delay when he takes off this time to throw everybody off a little bit. Give himself any advantage he can here. Pace car coming down the back straight away and you heard the over under is two more cautions. Hey, put your guess in the chat. How many more cautions do you guys think we're going to have in the next 10 laps? They do have a green-white checker available. Pace car is in. Green flag in the air. Harley's down and away. AJ Godsey slips to the side, high side for second. Third is Jeremy Root. Greg McDaniel trying to hold on. Here comes DJ Kenner. Considering half the top five is missing a front clip uh, and DJ's got a clean car, he might have a good chance here. Hinkle back there also missing the front clip. Harley Barletta managing to hold him off though for the moment. AJ Gonzi is closing in though. And AJ looks low. Jeremy looks even lower. Look at that. Jeremy is going to go as low as he has to to get by. Now Jeremy looking to the high side. Coming down, they'll get six to go here. Harley Barletta has a pretty good lead going. He is managing to hold everybody off, but now AJ looking to the bottom. Harley gets loose off two. And now Jeremy Root to the high side for second. Harley can't block both lines at once. It's going to get sketchy as they try and make it three wide into one. They don't do it. AJ on the bottom. Jeremy has to back out. Oh, a little wiggle out of AJ. Jeremy almost sticks the nose in between the wall. Caution. Oh, no. DJ Kenner and Greg McDaniel involved. And, oh, we've got a car that bounced off the wall. That was Brandon Springer collects DJ, collects Matt Bear. Greg McDaniel gets caught. As he bounces off, he just clips the right rear, sends him into the wall. Kevin Reed catches a piece of it. Brandon Springer catches a piece of it. Matt Bear missing his front clip almost makes it through. So Greg had made it all the way up to fourth, just being patient and avoiding wrecks and due to attrition. He's going to be back in fifth. He is also missing his front clip now. All right, let's try and take a look because I believe several members in the at least top 10 and in the top five are missing the front clip. So Harley's got his, AJ's got his, Jeremy does not have his, Jeff Hinkle does not have his, Greg McDaniel doesn't have his. It looks like Brandon actually has a front clip, Jody in seventh has a front clip, Mark Dantuma has one in eighth, Scott Snodgrass in ninth does not, and Gerald Poole in tenth does. So roughly half of the top 10 missing their front clip. Richie West saying he predicts three 
precautions before this is said and done. That is the first one. And they will go to a green-white checker. Worth noting, on a green-white checker, they'll take the green flag. They'll go around. Once the leader takes the white, no matter what happens, they are going to the finish. If something happens before he takes the white flag, though, they will get another opportunity at the green-white checker. And this is going to be a close one. A lot of beautiful breast cancer awareness paints uh, really torn up out there. Brandon Springer has one missing his front clip. Obviously, Jody Ogden has been just caught in a lot of stuff tonight. Mark Dantuma. Lights are out on the pace car. It's time to stack them back up for hopefully a final restart. Can Harley hold off a hard charging AJ and Jeremy? And Jeff Hinkle now up in the mix as well. Greg's still holding on to fifth. If anything goes wrong, he might have an opportunity. Harley choosing the high side on the restart. Pace car is in. Harley's down and away. AJ's staying even with him. Nope, Harley clears him. AJ, oh, Jeremy almost gets the back bumper of AJ. Has to back out of it. AJ has one opportunity here. Down to the bottom, white flag in the air. Harley takes the white flag. It doesn't matter what happens now. AJ all over the back bumper. Now here comes Jeremy Root for second. DJ Kenner is wrecked behind. Jeremy sends it into turn three. It's gonna be a drag race for second. No, Jeremy Root wins it or finishes second sideways. AJ Godsey comes across in third, but Harley Barletta gets the win. And what a finish. And wait a minute, I do believe AJ just lost his front clip. Yes, he did. All right, let's see if we can get a word with our third place finisher. AJ, this is Doug. You got me? I got you. Hey, man, that last lap was awesome. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, I just wish I had some better tires there. I had to keep staying out just to get to track position, so these guys had some fresh tires. Well, you definitely held them off. It looked like you were going for the, uh, you're going to get the win there for a few moments, but uh, not to be, but still one heck of a finish. Yeah, I definitely think I was better than Harley there. I was getting good runs on him, but then I had the 0-1 trying to get inside of me, so I had to protect the bottom a lot and really couldn't focus on passing. <laughs> well, you definitely did a great job at that. Congratulations, a, a top three, nothing to sneeze at, especially in a race like tonight. Yeah, it was a wild one, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, congrats, buddy. Thanks. All right, we'll see if Jeremy Root joins us here in a minute. First, we'll talk to our winner. Harley, this is Doug. You got me? Hey, what's up, Doug? Did you just blow the engine? Uh, yes, I'm stuck now. <laughs> well, congratulations, and I got to say, what an epic uh, end to that race as you had AJ and Jeremy really battling all over your back bumper. Yeah, I was super scared. They had a little fresher tires than me because I had stayed out for like 50 60 laps i was like all right cautions are starting to come maybe if we just stay out we'll be all right and it worked out for us Woohoo! yeah i know you've had some tire strategy go bad on you this season this is actually your first win of the season yeah it is we're real stoked about this man i can't say enough about this hot copy crew man we crushing it right now <laughs> you definitely are you'll actually extend your points lead as scott ends up finishing in 11th Jason finishes even further back than that. And Jody, who's came in tonight fourth in points, finishes ninth. So you'll actually extend your points lead quite a bit tonight. Woohoo! Went for a top seven. We got a win, baby. <laughs> Maybe you should go for a top seven every week. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to shoot for that. <laughs> 
All right, man. Well, congratulations. Heck of a win. Heck of a finish. Thanks, man. We'll see you in Arca. Uh, no, we won't. No Arca tonight because of Halloween. What? Yeah, oh. you've not been paying attention. No, I don't pay attention. Obviously. But it's okay. Woohoo! Good race, guys. All right. Congrats, buddy. Thanks, man. All right, it does look like Jeremy Root is available. Hey, Jeremy, this is Doug. You got me? Yes, sir, I got you. How many times have you ever finished a race in second sideways? <laughs> Not very often. That was actually really fun. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually really entertaining to watch uh, when you came across the line, man. It was hilarious. Uh, it looked like you were going to get it pretty easily there, but uh, obviously... A little bit of bumping and banging coming out of four. Oh yeah, I wanted that W. We uh, we had the car to do it and just couldn't get the green flag run just to be able to close the close the door. So uh, a good second place is good for points, and I enjoyed racing with AJ. It was a heck of a race and a heck of a battle all night long. And you know what? I do believe your spin at the line is actually uh, something we saw quite a bit of tonight. A little bit of net code there. Yeah, there was definitely net code involved. Um, it, it's been since the new update come out. It's been kind of a nightmare with net code. But overall, we had a, a good car and a good race, um, especially at the beginning. And just kind of got back in traffic a little bit and had to work our way back through. Luckily, we come out with a P2 and a good points night. And no front clip. And no front clip. <laughs> Ain't that the way a short track car is supposed to be? Probably so. You ran the second half of that race with no front clip, and it was commented on a couple of times. So. <laughs> <laughs> we were still fast, so I couldn't complain about it. We kept that, the airflow going. Definitely not. Well, congratulations, man. A great second place finish. Great points night. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Have a good night. You too, buddy. All right. Jeremy Root finishes second sideways. Net code was a part of the race tonight. Cautions were the other part. Attrition played a factor. But at the end of the night, Harley Barletta holds everybody off for the win. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to come back tomorrow night, 730 Eastern, Jones BS Racing League and so much more this week don't forget the xcal race on tuesday there's still spots available check that out at xcalracing.com hope you guys had as much fun as we did have a great night